Hello guys, today our second video about Vivado HLS. Today we're going to learn how to use uh, arrays in the top function parameter, okay? So basically, in our top function, as we seen before, is where we're going to indicate to Vivado HLS how your IP core will be, how are going to be the interfaces, and now we're going to learn the effect of using arrays on those interfaces. Okay, I'm going to switch to the board to explain a little bit what it's always going to be all about. And I hope you guys enjoy it and uh, let's go. Okay guys, array as parameter. Here we have a function find. This function find has as an input a scalar, uh, a scalar parameter called val, uh, an array parameter called invec, and an ar another array parameter called outvec. Both of these parameters have the, sign, the, the size declared. This is something very important in Vivado HLS that you need to give the size of our vectors. I mean, the Vivado HLS need at runtime to know exactly what is going to be the size of the vectors that you use inside of, of your function. Okay? So, uh, by default, array, arrays in, as parameters of top, of top functions are going to be to infer RAM ports or FIFO ports. Actually, this means that uh, if you have a, a vector in, as a parameter of a top function, his Vivado HLS is going to generate signals that are going to use to interface an external RAM or an external FIFO. Okay? I'm going to switch the board to show how we're going to define this function. And uh, in the labs, we're going to see what are going to be all the signals that are, are going to be generated by, by those. But as a start, we can see that it's going to be Address, ship enable, and, uh, and uh, signal called Q. This is going to be actually the output of the, the run that is going to be interfaced with this, uh, with this core. And in the output, we're going to have address, ship enable, write enable, and, uh, and an output D. Okay, guys? Okay, guys, now let's take a closer look to our function. Okay? Uh, the function find. By the way, I just wrote around, uh, around the name, okay? It's just a for loop, okay? From zero to the size of our, of our vectors, okay? And the only thing that it does is check if the, if the, the, the current vector uh, value is equal to our parameter val. If it is, the output vector is going to receive one at the, at the position that uh, iterate from zero to the size of the vector or else it's going to put zero, okay? By the way, this is not the most effective way to find values in a, in a race, and we're going to later to see how we can improve uh, the, the latency of this function, okay? How we can improve the throughput of this core by using some, uh, some special pragmas that, uh, show, that, uh, that I'm going to show later that improves the performance of the, the core generated, okay? Okay guys, now we're going to see our first pragmas, okay? Pragmas are uh, compiler directives that are going to instruct Vivado HLS to, to act differently, okay? Uh, as we said before, if we use vectors as, uh, as parameters on the top function, by default, it's going to create a memory interface. Okay? But, for instance, by using the, uh, this pragma HLS interface AP5 and you say that the port, uh, for instance, is out vec, you're going to create a FIFO interface in your IP core. Okay? Uh, it's not mandatory, but if you want to, to make it clear in your source code that you want to, for instance, in vec to be a, a run memory interface, you say pragma HLS interface AP memory port equals the port that you want. Okay? There are other uh, other types of uh, of pragmas of the type HLS interface. The most uh, the most important are, for instance, axis. If you want to create an axis stream interface, uh, S axis light. If you want to create a slave axis for light interface. M axis if you want to create an axis for full master or B run if you want to, to connect your core to a block run inside your FPGA. Okay guys, uh, now, let, now it's time for us to switch to the lab and we're going to see how we can create this function find uh, with more detail. 
Okay, guys, let's start by creating a project in Vivado HLS. Uh, here we're just choosing a name for the for the project. Okay, the next thing is just to define the top function of our of our project, which which in this case is the function find. Okay. Now we choose the board. The this, by the way, is going to be the is going to point to the FPGA at the moment that we create a, an IP core from it. Okay. Now we just adding a CPP source file. We already created this function uh, just to save some time, but we are going to comment line by line. Okay. And uh, well, let's start. So the function find the point that we need to pay attention here is that we are using as parameters two vectors, in vec and out vec, okay? And uh, we're going to show that by using arrays as uh, parameters in the top function, we're going to instantiate uh, a, a memory or FIFO interface, okay? By the way, the code of this, uh, this function is quite simple. It's just a for loop that iterates through all the, uh, the items in an array, and if the current item has a value equal to val, we say one. Yeah. What else? We put zero. Here we just uh, quickly synthesizing the code, just to see that uh, by default the Vivaldo HLS is going to create memory interface. Okay. Uh, now we're going to uncomment these fragments. For instance, the AP FIFO, as we saw in the board, is going to create a FIFO interface. So let's synthesize again. And we can see that now the, the interface is quite different. Also the latency, but this is another topic that we're going to see in future videos. But uh, let's scroll down and you can see that uh, as input we have the, some value, a FIFO empty, uh, a signal to read, and a value to uh, value the output to input, and the same thing as in, uh, on the output. Okay, so basically a FIFO, a FIFO interface. Does not mean that your code, your IP core is going to instantiate a FIFO. It's just that it's going to have an interface to a FIFO. Okay, just to to continue, we're going to create now a test bench, which is a program that is going to execute this function find. Okay, and execute to see if the code is really what you expect. Now we're just showing how to add those programs as well in the GUI. These all are all the options that we have as interface in Vivaldo HLS. We have BRAM, Axis Stream, Axis Light, FIFO, Memory. And uh, by using the GUI, we can also add those programs. If, if you don't want to remember all of them by head, which is quite normal, by the way. So now to the test bench, we create a file. Okay, this is going to be a C program, sorry, a C++ program that is going to execute our function. Okay, so just including the normal CDIO for us to have a printf. And basically it's this, we have an input array, which have uh, one repeated in the beginning and in the end. And we call this function looking for the value one. And you see in the output, in the, in the first and the last element has the value of one, okay? Okay, now let's uh, co-simulate this test bench, which means we're going to use model sim or Vivado simulator to test the generated HDL code with our test bench. Okay, it takes a little bit of time to, to execute. So that's it. This is the result with the HDL being simulated, not the C program, the HDL. Now we just open model sim and open the, the waveform file that has been generated in the simulation for us to help understand a little bit now in the hardware part what is going on. By the way, this is a .wlf file. Okay, now we're just going to drag the signals into the, into the waveform. And as you can see, uh, this is the, our vector address. Okay, by the way, we're generating this as memory. 
okay and uh, I'm just changing the radix of the the signals to help understand a little bit more what is going on uh, if you guys remember the AP done signal is asserted in at the end of the function when the function has the result you see that the AP done and AP ready go high AP ready just mean that the function the IP core is ready to receive another input Okay, and here in the output we can see that in the beginning and in the end we have the results of 1, all the rest are 0. So here uh, now we can see also the input going from 1 to 1, <laughs> so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1, and uh, our function just uh, verify if the, uh, the current value is 1. 